goes against religious belief. And therefore, I sort of find this absolutely wonderful consistency with what I understand about the universe from science and what I understand about the universe from science. Well, I can't say lost the atheist. How are you and everyone? And everyone having a good time today. That's nice to hear. So we have another video here from another person who's trying to, like, you know, he's trying to talk to these religious folks about their, you know, evolution and why they should believe in it. And they're like, you know, oh, we're just want to all get along here, guys. Everyone just wants to be on the same page. And like, oh, evolution is a fact and stuff like that. But if anyone has watched any uh, Stan Birdman videos, you'd realize that evolution is there is still pretty much in its theoretical stage right now. It's not really like all the way to proven fact uh, status yet. It's just like a very good theory about how everything came about and this is speculation and stuff like that. But... On another note, you know, everyone's always trying to, everyone on YouTube, there's always this big debate between, you know, the atheists who think they're always right about things, and are always like, oh, no, 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 this is real, none of that, it's all science-based this, science can prove anything, and that's very true, you know, so you could uh, use science to prove whatever kind of theories you really want if you work hard enough and stuff, but there's always going to be these kind of, you know, religious people, the, the, the little hullabaloo guys who always want to be like everything was like, in the Bible says like this, and like, you know, uh, like the they always want to be like arguing with people like Thunderfoot and stuff and like them and them and then they don't want to agree and they're just like they're stuck in their ways and they're just talking about like you know the book of Matthew and like you oh, know I was in the church once and they were talking about the book of Genesis and I was like you know what these people might have a good point because a lot of good things uh, they did like Genesis you know they made a lot of good video games and stuff like Arrow the Acrobat was fun and Splatterhouse and like they made the Fat Fatal Fury games and Shadowrun was great and it was a good strategy game called Power Monger too so it's like, you know, Genesis wasn't too bad Or like, I don't know why there wasn't like a book of like You know, Nintendo in there or whatever It's pretty biased, but you know It's all because what religions are It's pretty much just biased opinions on things It's just, you know, if you go to like, you know Different kinds of churches and religions You're gonna hear, you know, different theories on the same thing Just like different video game systems are pretty much like You know, same but different So like, sometimes they have cartridges, some have CDs Some are only on your computer It's like, same thing with religions, right? And then like, I don't know what system the atheist computer would be Maybe that would just be like no, I'm not playing the video game at all or something. I don't know, but uh, it's hard to say. Maybe it'll be like atheists would be like playing like a chessboard or like maybe like a board game. I'm not sure what that this metaphor is going for, but anyway, I just think like this argument's getting old, and they're always going to be arguing with these people forever because they're never really going to learn, right? Because they're like. When you're a religious person, you've already spent all this money and like, you know, your Sunday clothes and like, depending on your religion, maybe you have to get like a yoga mat or you have to always like, you know, you spend all this money and time building these cathedrals and mausoleums or whatever, and, like those little onion, onion dome things and like, you yeah, know, at mosques, I guess, and like, you know, those cost a lot of money, they invest a lot of time and like, you know, it's not easy to write like a religious book like Koran or the Bible or whatever else you have and it just takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of energy to do, and then, you know, when you're all done, and then you have atheists coming around saying, oh, this isn't true, and you're like, well, duh, Captain, uh, Captain Obvious, but why you have to poop on our parade, right? Maybe we just want to believe in Care Bears, are you going to poop on that next? What's, what's up with you people? You're just party poopers, and you're like, evolution this, we should all get along. Like, that's probably true, but still, like, come on, guys, we're like, we already bought our nice Sunday dress, and like, Grandma's already raring to go there, and she likes, you know, it's fun to sit around your family and talk about, you know, like, persecuting witches, and like hunting for wizards and like all that fun stuff and like oh, on the seventh day he rose again like it's fun to say these things you know like, these are just like oh, I'm not gonna have any part of this and that's okay like that, that doesn't bother anyone so I can just all get along and like not always have to have these arguments pointing each other but anyway bye